Hello and welcome one more time. Vinny the Car Guru here at Greenbrook Buick GMC Chevrolet and Prion. And today we continue with the new vehicles that are coming here. So let's take a look. Alright, and today is the turn for the 2023 Canyon Elevation Package. And as we've been seeing, the Canyon got fully renovated on 2023 with different packages. Of course, we've been seeing like the Denali and the 84, 84X. And now we have here the Elevation Package. So Elevation Package is a little bit more like an entry-level vehicle. And right here in the front, we can see that even... At the entry level, we still get a really nice and beautiful design. It looks really nice and beefy and powerful. The grill on this vehicle, of course, has the whole new redesigned grill with a little bit of a black embedded on the, uh, on the grill with the plastic. So painted in plastic a little bit. GMC logo on red right here. Now coming to the bottom right here, we got the nice plastic right here cover and then we have recovery hooks all the way in the bottom here painted in black one of the things that is very interesting on now this elevation is the cutaway on the bumper which allows the wheel to have a little bit more space and that has been seen on vehicles like the AT4 so it gives more uh, capacity for off-roading and stuff like that and this particular one for the first time we see it on the elevation as well. We got the uh, LED running lights right here in the top. We got uh, the headlamps right here and uh, the middle of the bumper. We got the GMC logo right there. Really nice, well put on the front of the vehicle. Now under the hood of this vehicle, we find a 2.7 turbo engine married with an eight speed transmission. Now these engines and these transmissions will come exactly like this on the canyons from the elevation all the way to the Denali. All right, and inside of this vehicle, we got the wheel wells with plastic right here to protect the vehicle. We got the GMC logo right here uh, on the top. And we have on this particular nice, beautiful uh, Summit White on this vehicle. Coming to the wheel, and we see a nice R18, really beefy tires, strong tires right here. And of course, the wheels are painted black part of the elevation package and we have the aluminum GMC center cap right here a uh, little bit of a contrast on the wheel now on the door of this vehicle we got the elevation badge right here we also have the mirror painted black here in the tab a little bit of plastic in the bottom and we have once again the button to lock and unlock the doors right here in the handle coming a little bit to the back and again we see the tinted windows right here this one is a crew cab version vehicle so it gives you a lot of space for passengers in the back and as i was saying on this vehicle you can see the design is completely different we have the tail lamps right here uh completely different design we also have the elevation batch right here in the corner we also get the canyon batch right here with chrome and the red gmc and of course this is manual right here uh, now one of the things that i find out about this vehicle is uh on the elevation it doesn't have the soft opening like uh, the 84 and the denali so this is a little bit uh heavier i should say uh this one is painted uh, no uh, spray liner on this one and again that is something you can get on these vehicles if you want to 
Now closing this up right here and we have the corner steps and the hole right here on the side of the bed for easy access to the bed. All right, let's get inside the screw cup right here and see what do we get back here. We got cloth seating on this vehicle. Uh, we have a nice vents here in the back and we have one uh, C uh, USB port, which is very interesting. Normally they put two and this one is only one. And we have a little bit of pocket right here uh, behind of the passenger seat. There's still a lot of room uh, to put uh, two or maybe three people here in the back. Now the door of this vehicle has the same design again from the entry level to the Denali level. Uh, the only difference is of course uh, there is different materials but the design will be the same. Now we got the controls right here for the windows and the mirrors, the lock and unlock the doors and we even have like a little cup holder right here in the bottom of the door. Now the driver's side is a manual which we have this toggle right here to pump it up or to pump down to raise or lower the seat and this toggle right here will be for the back part of the seat. Uh, again we see a nice fabric on this uh, seat and all the way to the top we can see the design on the seat. All right once inside the vehicle we're going to close the door and get this vehicle started. We're going to push the button and push the brake and this is one of the things that is very uh, interesting. Uh, the 2022 used to have a key even at the Denali level. Now we got a push button even at the entry level which is really good. The infotainment system of course and the center cluster have changed dramatically. We got a big screen right now and we have uh, the Google base uh, programming now on this vehicle which is something we've been seeing more often uh, on the GM products. Uh, love the, uh, the way that this center cluster looks and even uh, this wheel it's leather wrap around which is really nice we see the nice design a little bit of metal right here on the wheel and even around the dashboard we see a nice metal that makes the contrast of the dashboard look really nice now we uh, go here to the center console and we have stop and go engine lane keep assist and a little bit of a space here for a phone or maybe some change or something like that. We've got the USB and C USB, and we still have a shifter on this vehicles, uh, electronic brake, and the cap holders. Now this right here, uh, it's been said that it's to put cell phones, like you can stand your cell phone right there. Uh, it all depends, of course, on the size of the cell phone. And we have a little bit of a cubby right here. Let's push the button. We even have a tray over here and plenty of space right here in the center of the vehicle now going all the way to the passenger side and we see a nice pattern on the dashboard and uh, all the way to the door of the passenger really really nice uh, again even for this elevation entry level this is actually a two-wheel drive which is rare to see right here in this part of the country uh, the northeast because of the snow uh, but we got this one and it looks really really nice. And the key of this vehicle is pretty simple only three buttons right here lock and unlock and panic button. So here we have a 2023 Canyon Elevation package and like I said kind of entry level vehicle. Let me know what you think about this vehicle. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, I deeply appreciate it. It helps me tremendously to continue growing the channel. And I'll see you on the next video.